Good morning, my tubies and my TikTokers and my Instagrammers. Sheila True Love here. I'm going to have to be brief this morning because I'm on the go. Today is April 14th and it's Friday. Yay! I'm so happy. And today I want us to think about having some very good habits that we need to develop. And those habits are to read your Bible every single day. Pray for yourself and for those around you and memorize some scriptures and think about it throughout the day. Today, we're going to reflect and focus on John chapter 15, verse 4 and 5. I want you to take time to look around you. Everything's been masterfully designed. The skies, the trees, the mountains, the oceans, the animals, the people, the seen and the unseen. We can breathe. Because we've been given lungs, oxygen, and the environment that sustains us, that sustains life. You can move because you've been given muscles, tenders, and a brain that instructs your body. You can think, dream, plan, design, create, build, because you've been given the desire, ability, and some raw materials. So doesn't it make sense that if you want to live a life that matters, a life that leaves an eternal legacy... You must stay connected to the source of life, which is Jesus Christ, because Jesus said it is like this. He gave us an illustration at John chapter 15, verse four and five. When Jesus says that he is the vine, he's making a statement. He's saying that he is the source, that anything that's made is because of his life giving power. So if you long for a real for, for, for real truth, for genuine wisdom, or to make a lasting difference in this world, then you need to stick close to Jehovah and Jesus Christ. Because anything worth being or doing, it starts with them. We can even pray and say to Jehovah and talk to Jesus, telling them that apart from them, we can do absolutely nothing. Ask for forgiveness when you try to do when you, when you try to go at things by yourself and apart from them. So today I could say, like I said today, I'm in a rush today. I love you. Jehovah loves you and Jesus loves you too. It's going to be a great day. And don't forget to always ask God for wisdom and guidance so that, uh, and let them know that we need them every single day. I love you and have a great weekend. Bye babies.